Step 1, Underside Assembly. Carefully flip the vehicle over to work on the underside assembly. Step 2, Front Axle Assembly. Remove the cotter pin and washer from the steering wheel column. Align the front axle steel plates with the car body. Insert the axle through the steering column hole. Slide the washer back onto the steering column and insert the cotter pin. Securely fasten the front axle to the car body using 816mm screws, larger screws provided. This represents the correct front axle assembly. Step 3, Rear Axle Assembly. Loosen the nuts at each end of the rear axle and remove the rear axle tube sleeve. Align the rear axle with the car body and slide it through, allowing the rear axle tube to go between the support struts. When installing the support plates, ensure the arrows are facing forward. Allow the bar groups to lock into place. Then secure the support plates to the body using 4 12mm screws, smaller screws provided. Step 4, Front Motor Installation. When installing the motors, ensure the colored wires correspond to the wires on the motor, example green and yellow should match. Attach the male wires to the female connections and ensure they are securely connected. Align the front motor with the car body. Slide the wheel onto the motor, guiding it into place. Place a washer and nut on the wheel and fasten with the provided tool. Complete this step on both sides of the front axle. Step 5, Rear Motor Installation. Ensure the rear axle is located in the middle of the car, with the extending axles on both sides being the same length. Locate the rear motors, identified by the blue and yellow wires. Ensure the connections are sound and slide the motor head into the car. Repeat the same steps for the other side of the car. Step 6, Rear Wheel Assembly. Once the rear motors are securely fastened and the connections are sound, place the rear wheels onto the rear axle. Insert a washer, then a nut, and use the provided tools to fasten both sides. Since the rear axle is free spinning, tighten both sides simultaneously. Step 7, Steering Wheel Assembly. With the car flipped over, begin the steering wheel assembly. Connect the steering wheel wire to the wires coming out of the steering column, matching the connectors. Align the holes on the steering wheel with the steering axle. Slide the screw through and securely fasten with a nut on the other side. Step 8, Battery Connection. Locate the battery under the seat. To connect the battery to the car, first, loosen the screws on the battery cover and remove it from one side. Insert the black fuse into the red plug. This connects the battery to the car. 
Step 9, Wheel Covers and Rear Tail Light Covers. Take the wheel covers and align the rib bets to lock them into place. Align the rear tail light covers with the grooves on the rear body and pop them into place. Step 10, Seat Assembly. Align the two plastic pressing buttons on both sides of the car body. Attach one 12mm screw, smaller screw, to the bottom attachment point on the car body. Align the plastic notches on the seat with the pressing buttons. Once the grooves are aligned, slide the seat all the way back. Insert the remaining screws into the seat pattern, securing the seat to the car body. Step 11, Additional Attachments. Insert the front roll bar into the corresponding openings on the top of the buggy. Insert the rear hand holders into the openings on the back of the car body. Align the front bumper with the openings on the car's grille and pop it into place.